All right, uh, thank you, Stephanie and Richard. A uh, very interesting edited note that we are graced by the presence of a representative of this universe, right? So I think Stephanie being here, right, only shows that this room is full of beautiful people, right? And she's probably the least compared to everybody who's sitting down, right? So uh, thank you for coming. But uh, there's one thing I'd like to ask, though. Um, you guys did a round of applause, right? But I'd like to ask, one more very strong round of applause, but it's not for me, right? It's for you, our partners, because without HP, we would without without you guys, HP wouldn't exist, right? And I would like to, everybody to have to give a round of applause for every single partner who supports HP, for every single sales guy who goes out there to the market, sells to our customer, and he fights to the sales HP. We really appreciate your support and loyalty for HP and. We thank you again for coming here, right? We have a wonderful night tonight. Um, I think a lot of people have been here for the first time. Who's, who's been to Blue Water before? Yeah, but apparently five star. A lot, like a, a lot of people like to go on vacation, probably. A 30 minute drive, 45 minute drive to from Colombo. Actually, I like the place, right? I arrived early this morning at 11. Very nice place, very relaxed. I walked over to the ballroom. Very nice, very nice setup. But I found out, you know, despite the fact that the resort's very nice, I found out that there's one problem, right? Is that it seems like the distance from the ballroom to the room is very far. And what's the problem? Knowing Sri Lanka's pension for alcohol, right? <laughs> I think by tonight, right? And some and some of the some of the partners, even from Mark Tech, to name of you, have started drinking. So I think by tonight. I might have some problems. So in fact, just to share with everybody, I've requested our agency Vista to have meal barrel service. Right? So those who can't make it will be pushed. Okay? Right. So, so okay, a very nice place. Um, I think this one, another interesting, another interesting story is that obviously this is the biggest partner event in years or maybe you know, ever as far as I'm concerned. I think there are over 220 partners over here. Thank you again for coming. Um, Off-site, right? And in fact, I was anticipating, right? There's, I, I thought though, that there were issues, right? Apparently, a lot of the partner, a lot of the partner sales had problems with this event, right? I was talking to, my, I was talking to some of my sales guys, right? They're telling me, oh yeah, there seems to be a problem, right? So, well, what's the problem, right? Um, I thought is that one, people have to drive very far. Right, maybe traffic, right? Or maybe the fact that it's a Friday, people have to come here by 1, 3, leave the office early, right? May have to throw both of customer meetings, right? Or maybe, especially for the retail partners, they might have to go shop, right? For today and tomorrow. But that's not the biggest problem with the partners. You know what it is? Can anybody guess? Try to surprise. A parent, oh, sorry, what? Weekend, right? No, apparently, and Dinesh was telling me, a lot of the partners were calling him. And the problem was, I don't have a suit to get HP reimbursed me for this. Very <laughs> 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 big problem. But anyway, uh, jokes aside, right? Uh, I just want to think, like, just before I just go um, to talk about HP, right? Is that, um, well, um, just one thing, I'm here for the weekend, right? And that, uh, um, obviously, like, the staff is there and stay, why did you go to Yala, right? to Yala, right? But there's in Yala, a lot of leopards, right? And an interesting trivia that I found out was that Sri Lanka apparently is a country with the highest density of leopards in the world. Is that true? Right? Apparently, right, go to Yala, go to somewhere, uh, like all the wildlife, the center of the island, right, a lot of uh, wildlife. So Sri Lanka has one of the, it has the highest density of leopards the world, right? But a, here's another trivia tonight. What tonight? Do you know that this ballroom has the highest density of good-looking people in the world? <laughs> right? So we have, so again, so again, Ian, Ian, I first of all, of the the people who know me, right, they call me Ian. Um, I'm general manager for ABC. Uh, my friends, my colleagues call me Ian. Uh, let me just talk about uh, HP, right, as we go at the start, right. Hopefully I'm ushering uh, 
interesting and entertaining night. So let's talk about HP. A lot of changes that you may have heard, right, in HP, in the world, you know, the world HP country, right? Just let me just quickly go through it. You may have heard by last year, late last year, and some of the parties have been meeting over the last few months is that HP will be separated, right, into two companies, right? Two independent publicly traded companies, right? For HP is one big company, now it's splitting into two, right? So the, the business unit that I'm in is PDS, Printing and Personal Systems, will be splitting, splitting off into HP Inc., right? And the uh, other team, the enterprise group, will become Hewlett Packard Enterprise. So this becomes very important, right? Is that because one is that each of these companies is a big company. Okay, HP Inc. and Hewlett Packard Enterprise will be a Fortune 50 company, right? They are 60 billion in revenue and 6 billion operating profits. So these are big companies, right? Con contrary to what some of the partners are telling, oh, yeah, they're in the news that the PPS will be sold off, right? Or the PCs will be sold off. It's not true, right? In fact, HP Inc. PPS will be a company its own. It's a huge, right? It's a top 50, one of the top 50 biggest uh, companies according to, to Fortune, right? One more important thing is that both companies, as it separates, will be leaders, or actually leaders in their own field, in their own market, right? HP is number one in commercial PC. In fact, even in Sri Lanka, as per IDC Q115, right, is that HP is number one in the commercial PC market, right? Over, overall in the world, right, we're number one in jet, number one in laser. You know that HP is the number one printing company. Well, one of the reasons why HP is doing this is that, as you notice, right, the competitors, the verticals, the customer segments, the innovations, and the enterprise space is very different from the PBS space at this point, right? The wave of innovations that have been coming in the last years have been very fast, right? So now, as we split the packard focuses on cloud, right, on enterprise services, while PBS or HP Inc. focuses on new technologies, new personal devices. And as you may have heard, is that obviously the shared timelines, right? Is that by August 1, which is not too far away, right? HP Inc. and Hewlett Packard Enterprise will be operating separately, right? Independently. But the official separation of HP Inc. and Hewlett Packard Enterprise will be by November 1, right? So this will be a very, very big launch. Um, HP Inc. will be one of the biggest startup companies in the world, right? For new. And for some of the questions some of the partners are asking me is that what happens to the logo? HP Inc. retains the logo, retains the branding, retains the HP.com, right? So we have an advantage that people know HP by, by default, right? And all customers, commercial consumer, will, will recognize who HP is, right? So by November 1, HP Inc. will be launching, right? And I will, I'm looking forward that around that time, right, that we also need to get meet again, right, in our very nice suits and launch each meeting together, right? That's going to be a very exciting time, right? So, as you guys have also known, is that things have been changing. Um, obviously, as part of the separation, as part of the change in the market strategy, right, there are changes in the way we come to market, right? Today, today is that we are a very channeling business. Tomorrow, we will continue to be a channeling business. Our approach will be to continue to strengthen our channel, right? Give them more resources for our customers. And part of the change, obviously, is also changing the structure of how we work with you as partners. Right? So very important is that uh, apparently it's very small, right? Uh, you thought the screen was bigger. Is that I have a PC category, right? Is that you'll talk, you'll hear about Eddie. Eddie leads the PC category team. He handles desktops. Um, Dennis, some of you may be familiar with the handling of notebooks. He comes, he's been coming here very, very often, right? A good friend of all our distributors. And then Imran is, uh, will be handling this uh, value products, device rotation, and accessories, right? On the PC category, um, Chris will speak to you later and will be leading the team and at the same time handling supplies. But as you guys all know, right, Insera, right, Insera, very, very talented guy, right, will be handling the print hardware category. And for some of you who know Faraz, right? Faraz will be my marketing to cover uh, AC, including obviously Sri Lanka. Right? On the Sri Lanka sales, Sri Lanka sales is that we'll, have, we'll be focusing in two segments. Right? One will be channel sales. Channel sales will essentially be 
covering the distributors, the direct retailers, right, and as well as the the motion to commercial and retail tier two. And that will be handled by Dinesh. People are familiar, I think partners are familiar with Dinesh. And in terms of end user sales, right, that working with the corporate resellers, commercial partners, covering the named accounts, right, all those big accounts, the big companies out there will be covered by Manjula. So Manjula will be leading the my enterprise team across AEC and we focusing on Sri Lanka. So the two guys like uh, did it, I think Manjula and Dinesh, right, as they can in the channel, right? As you, as you know that they'll be based out of Singapore, they'll be coming very, very often, every month at least a week or two, right? So they won't be strangers. Very important is that these guys will be will still be your key contact point. And I wanted to instill my partner's confidence that these aren't the people, the people that you are confident with. Right? Also, but part of that is that I'm also working to have um, people on the ground, right? People on the team, right? You can be there every time to cover certain things. Um, can't be seen, but obviously the Sri Lanka extended team will be on the ground. And I'm working in, in there'll be some gap but, but by mid August, right? Um, not much different, but uh, Darshini will be handling uh, the SMB segment as well as commercial theater partners. Um, we're also moving Sri Pali, if, if you if you met her to handle retail partners, right, and, and as well as the retail segment. And in terms of the enterprise space, we want you to be working with, and some on the ground, I'm in the process of finalizing that person. Right? There will be a lot of changes, right, worldwide within country. But at the end of it, we will still continue to work with you. We will still be there to support and provide all these activities and all the price support, product support to help with every single customer deal as much as possible. So I'm talking about innovation and different waves of HP. But one of the things to look forward to as well is that as HP now separates into two companies, HP will now have more resources to focus on innovation creating new product categories and segments. And one of the things that you may have read or heard of is HP Sprout, right? HP Sprout is a product partner together with, with Intel, right? It's a product new of its category. It allows you to scan an object in 3D, right? And work on it and let it create a juice flow. And let's get the video to show you what HP Sprout is. That's a very interesting product, a new, a new category for so it's just an example of what kind of innovation that HP will be coming up with. Right? This product's not yet available, but it will be coming to our markets uh, sometime late this year, early next year. But it just shows how much R&D we're putting in. Uh, another new innovation that HP is getting into is, as you've heard of, right, 3D printing is the new buzz in printing these days. Right? According to some of the analysts, 3D printing will be a $20 billion industry by 2020 plus. Okay, but the problem with 3D printing, the 3D printers that we find in the market today is that they are very, very slow and very, very expensive. Right? In fact, for those who watch Mission Impossible, right, and see a mask being 3D printed, it, they only take, it seems like it only takes a few minutes. Right? But in reality, it actually takes hours or even days. Right, but with HP's foray into 3D printing, using our own proprietary technology, the same technology that we use in our, uh, in our inkets, is that we'll be able to provide the technology that 3D printing will be cheaper, right, faster, right, and even more robust and sturdy. So these are the things that we, we are looking forward to right, with HP Inc. Uh, launching. One of the things, uh, just another thing, right, as, I, as I'm moving to another topic is that, um, and this is, this is an insight that I actually found when we talk to all the partners, right? A lot of the partners say that, what does what what HP do, right, to the markets and the channel, right? Um, in fact, you know, it's that their brand, it's that their vendor does this and that, right? So, um, it got me thinking, right, I was working with my marketing team, right? I, I told them, it's our job to make sure that the partners know what we're doing. I want to know the partners that so much has happened that they've been doing to invest in the channel to drive, uh, incentivize our, our partners, right, and to drive and create demand, right? You guys should have received the 18 newsletter, um, I think the last week or so, right? So this, the 18 newsletter essentially highlights what are the things that we've been doing, right? One of the good examples is the regional channel program, right? We've had events in Melbourne, in Vegas, in Bali, right? In, Bali again, right? I think some of the partners here, 
were with me in, in those events, right? The big events that we want our partners to experience. We also had right, a big contingent from Shlanta team come with me, go all the way to Madrid, watch the Real Madrid, the Real Madrid match in Bernabeu Stadium, right? And some other partners, right, try their hand at go fighting, right? So, so these are some of the programs to run to incentivize drive partners to hit their targets, hit their quota, right? And you know, to me, it's always a good experience to spend time with a partner, not you know, meeting with me, you know, what product, what help you need, what support you need. Right, and I think one of the big, big things that we've also done, and thanks to the Sranka, Sranka team, right, the Sranka team is that we had this big cricket fiesta, I think it was a month or two ago. Right, and apparently it's a big hit that a lot of partners enjoy. Right, a lot of creative, right, and creative fun energy came out. Right, and I think that's such a big event, one of the biggest as well that um, we've had. And just like with any event, right, even if it's an athletic or a sporty event that we do, right, the benefit, slogans end up drinking, just like at the bottom, right? Drinking and dancing, having fun, right? We also done right, a couple of uh, a lot more activities, and all these have happened in the last the last few months, right? We've done all the promos to celebrate the Sri Lanka New Year and the Bengali New Year, which we uh, cover as well. We've done um, anti counterfeit raids. In Bangladesh, right? It's something that we want to do in, in the, the market, right? And really go after uh, counterfeiters that, you know, always easy. What they do is not right. We've also had a HP SMB forum in Sri Lanka two months ago. Right? We've done World Station World uh, in regular markets. There's a lot that we're doing to incentivize the channel, educate our customers, and drive more awareness about our products. And we're also, we also work with our partners, right? Like, uh, partner get together and can be together with the Techno City, right? That we brought um, some of the Chris and Eddie over there, right? To meet the future partners. We talk to them, right? Because so we want to focus not just on global, but really grow outside the market. Because I, I, I really believe that there's still a lot of customers who are not aware of issue products and solutions. And there's a big, big market out there. Right? Also, we tried it and going down to law. Right, and really driving HP print festival, right? Talking about HP printers, and this was just I think a month or two ago. And even this week, this week was very, very jam-packed. We did a science of printing workshop, and we and it was not in one event, just three events, right? The first day we had retail part, right? I think we had consumer partners, second day we had commercial partners, and yesterday we had customers come in the morning. Right? In fact, even in the evening, we had a mobility solutions event for corporate customers. So there are a lot of activities that we're doing. And this only shows that we've been working and investing in, in driving the method. Sri Lanka has a very important work for us, and we will continue with this activity. Right? In fact, upcoming, we have an HP Intel Challenge, right, uh, which we ran, qualified. We have two representatives from Sri Lanka, one from the HP team, one from Prague. We have Manjana going to Prague, and one of our then to get your achievers will be Avance, right, with Chakra, right? So they're going to Prague together, part of this incentive trip. Go uh, we'll to Prague together, drink a lot of beer, because apparently the Czechs are one of the highest consumers of alcohol in the world. Not Germans, right? Maybe Sri Lanka will be right there. Right? And then one more thing, right, is that even for supplies, we also have a Prague incentive trip. As we close the quarter, right, just a few days away, right? And it seems like it, based on the nominees, right, the recent performance, very likely that we'll get Ectoform from Sunil, maybe, maybe DMS, or, I don't know, not yet, but we have DMS and Ectoform is likely to go to Prague. So it seems to be a cool place to be in now, right, and drink more beer. Right, uh, we also have an APJ Leadership Summit for supplies, right, a lot of things going on, right, and well, that kill me and Sunil also to represent, right? So you see, the common denominator is here, right? But it all means that we very strongly support HP. So thank you for that, right? So look, I mean, at the end of it, I'm always very happy when I have my Sri Lanka partners represent, represent us, right? In all these big events, right? And it's always good to see how HP runs big programs. And it also fosters the relationship that uh, partners have with HP, right? So with that, I, I just wanted to just say that Sri Lanka is a very important market. No matter what changes in the, the go-to-market strategy we're doing, 
not as important. We will continue to be the trusted partner for you as you are to us, right? We'll continue to grow with you, right? We will continue to be the trusted brand, right? And be with you and grow with you. And just, just as an anecdote, right, is that um, one of the partners, right, told me, right, there was one in Bangladesh, one in Sri Lanka. I said, Ian, I'm really worried about what's happening to HP, right? I was able to build my house with HP, right? I was able to put my, my children to schools, to school because of, because of HP, right? Because I only sell HP. And he pulled me aside to one of those meetings in May. And this is what I told him. I said, don't worry. All the way until your children grow up, until they get married, and until they buy a house, and will all be because of HP. So HP will be here, working with you as our partners to really grow your business and to get to this. So with that, I'd like to thank you for uh, your time listening to me. I'll now hand you over to our beautiful hosts. Thank you very much.